Hi, I'm Nadine, owner of Special Journey Journals, and today I'm going to be reading a section from the book, Just Like Me. The profile that I'm going to be reading today is about a young lady called Greta Thunberg. I have Asperger's. It means I am sometimes a bit different from the norm, and given the right circumstances, being different is a superpower. Greta Thunberg was born in Stockholm, Sweden, on January the 3rd, 2003. At eight years of age, Greta was doing a project in school about the effects of climate change. During the discussion, a short film was shown to explain the impact humans were having on the planet. Greta could not stop thinking about what she had seen. Greta had been diagnosed with Asperger's at a young age. This meant that sometimes Greta found herself hyper-focusing on subjects or things which interested her or caused her concern. Not understanding why others were not as upset as she was about the issue, she became completely overwhelmed with concern about climate change and temporarily stopped talking at the age of 11. Her parents were concerned about her and tried to encourage Greta to use her voice again. For if she chose not to speak, how could she share her worries with others? How would she be able to ask for change? A change was needed and to make an impact, Greta knew she needed to get her message to the people in power, those running the country. Her parents warned Greta that her plan may not be met with support. She may find that the reactions to her protests were not the reactions she was hoping for, but she was strong and determined. If she didn't stand up for climate change, who would? Greta tried to get her teachers and friends to join her in a protest outside parliament but no one was interested. She sat alone with a hand-painted sign which read School Strikes for Climate Change in Swedish and handed out flyers with facts about climate change. She posted pictures of her protests on social media and found her posts were drawing attention from local journalists who went to ask her what her protest was about. Greta returned for a second day of protesting, expecting to spend another day sat alone. Much to her surprise, a few other people had turned up to join her. From then on, each day, Greta returned to protest. Even more people arrived, ready to support her cause. Greta realised then that she could make a difference. Achievements. School strikes for climate change became a global movement. 1.6 million people across 128 countries around the world gathered in various towns and cities on Friday, March the 15th, 2019, to strike for climate change. This became known as the Fridays for Future movement. Greta delivered a speech in English in front of thousands of people at a climate rally that day. She also travels the world using climate-friendly transport to spread awareness of how climate change is affecting the planet. Time magazine named Greta Person of the Year in 2019 and one of the world's most influential people. She was, also she was also nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Greta traveled to America by boat to spread her climate crisis message. Aware of the amount of carbon emissions an aeroplane put into the atmosphere, she looked for an alternative way to travel. It took her and her team 15 days to travel from Plymouth, England to New York, America. What is Asperger's? Asperger's, known as ASD, Autistic Spectrum Disorder, may affect a person's ability to communicate, socialise and fit into social norms. People with ASD tend to be above average in intelligence and are likely to find themselves hyper-focused on things they see as important or interesting to them. The cause of ASD is unknown, although it is thought to be a genetic and possibly hereditary People with ASD may find speech therapy, physical therapy, behavioural therapy, and in some cases, medication useful. Boys tend to be diagnosed more frequently than girls due to the fact that girls find it easier to mask their symptoms. I hope you found, I hope you found that interesting. There are more profiles to be found in the Just Like Me book.